All right. So this this gets into really the second part of the, the presentation, and and it has to do with um, you know pushback uh, when when presenting these kinds of ideas and and different um, different criticisms that that pop up along the way, and uh, and my thoughts on on some of those, but. Uh, before I before I get into the pushback and the criticisms, I just want to show this video. This was um, this was posted by Vincent Kennedy. He's a, he's got a pretty big uh, a following on on Twitter, three hundred thousand subs. This video got six hundred thousand views almost, which is pretty cool because this is straight out of Hangman uh, Hangman's work, and it is so uh, to me. This is self evident proof that that the great trees were real. Um, but there are some who who deny that, and they're looking for more than just point and claim, which they're saying is what this is. I'm going to show you this: how the trees are fibers, and for some reason, this shows the the true color. A big chunk of this just fell off. See part of the grain. This is the way the fibers are right here. See. Hold on a second. And you see it's nothing but wood. Okay, so we're gonna go down over here. Now in another video, he's at this site, and that video is this is you know for Instagram, um, you know, vertical. In in the the other video it's HD, and he's showing the whole structure, and you can see one side of it is solid stone, and then the further you move to you pan to the right, the more and more color it gets till you get this area here that still has the color of wood. And then he pulls it off and, and you can see that it's actually fibrous. Um, so, you know, to me, this is self-evident proof that petrified trees existed on a scale we're told is impossible. So then if you, if you I could go in right now, which I've already done in other videos, but I could go in and I sh could show lots of examples of petrified tree on a smaller scale and it is identical to what we're looking at. So why why the disconnect? I don't I don't understand. And I'll show you a little more. Okay. See here. And at an angle. Okay. All this, everything. This whole mountain in a hundred mile radius. Come right over here. see this looks just like freshly chopped wood we peeled a piece off of there this is what we see this is the wood and the ends yeah. I don't believe the ends of, of it that are smooth and almost they look like they've been vitrified I don't think they've been hit with heat I think that's just the way the tree grows and then it cleaves just like you showed at the very beginning when I was showing the fresh wood. It cleaves on these straight lines and you get that smooth surface. It doesn't break in a, in a jagged fashion. Um, <clears throat> That's just got the moss on it. Yeah, it's got the moss on it and it's got the, it's oxidized, it's been weathered, and, and that's probably more stone-like than the other stuff that, that was at the beginning and of the And all video. this here, all the way back up in here, uh, I'll show you that in a second. You come right here. And you see, we'll pull a piece off here. Yeah, someone it's says Hangman wood. has so much better proof. He does. This is not the best. I just brought this up because this, this kind of stimulated uh, a, a bit of a debate. And, um, you know, some people started taking mm -hmm. Talk shots at this video claiming that this isn't evidence at all it's just point and claim so um, you know that that that's the pushback but that's I mean so crazy that's so clearly would I, if you can't see that I don't know all this I, I don't know what to say and then you go right over and then, here and that's and that's see, just that's without even shot. looking at the at all the courts if you go back to the very beginning of the video the first six minutes there uh, are showing lots of photographic examples of not just this incredible micro layering but but the 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 quartz which is 
embedded throughout it all. And sometimes you can see that it, it's like the knot of a, uh, of a tree. So you got the wood grain coming around, curved in both fashion, in, in both, in, you know, both, both above and below. And then right, right there in the center where the sap would be is quartz. And um, so this is a, this is a big bone of contention is the idea that, that sap cannot petrify oh. to quartz. This is what we see. Oh, she grew. <laughs> this point of claim is a pretty damn good Over point here. of claim. I agree, Shiva. Absolutely. So that part of the source tree. Yeah. So, so I mean, to really fathom the scale of what what we're talking about here, if you think of like a a hollowed out tree trunk that's you know been decaying. Uh, and the the outer edges of the trunk are, are you know still portions of that remain. This would be one of those edges, and so that would be continuing around in a big in a big circle. And you know this is in the central portion, and and each one of these little fifty you know hundred foot chunks that he's that he's walking around would be like the equivalent of something this big on a regular tree. 